Can jumping rope grow your calves? I decided to find out and do 1,000 jump ropes for 30 days. Now I grew my calves slightly by doing walks with a weighted vest in the last video, but could jumping rope provide a similar stimulus? Can I grow my calves while getting in some daily cardio? To start the new challenge, I initially did 500 jump ropes the first day, and then 600, then 700, then 800, adding on 100 more each day. It wasn't until later my first week that I hit 1,000 reps. Okay, first day of 1,000 jump ropes. I got my stopwatch, so let's see how long this takes. Now this challenge did start immediately after I used the weighted vest challenge, so I used my initial measurements from that video, which was 15.10 inches on the right and then 14.9 inches on the left. And I'm not going to do the adjusted measurements in this video like I did in the last one. The next calf challenge or whatever I do, I will just start using the tape measure correctly since I finally figured out how to use it. Hope you guys can see that. 907. Not too bad with all the breaks. So my calves are absolutely fried from the first day 4,000. So we are going to skip day seven. So we'll see on day eight how they feel. We'll get back to it though. To slowly increase the challenge over the month after my initial 1,000, I would increase the amount of jumps I did before I got to 1,000 before my break. So one day I took a rest at 500 jumps. The next workout I did 525 jumps. The next 550 jumps before I took a break. And I just kept going up by 25. So it was a good way to increase my initial time jump roping before a break, which t which in turn improved my cardio as well. Week two, basically done. I did miss two days, but whatever, that's what it is. So let's see these cast results as usual. No pump when I'm doing this measurement, just my normal daily walking. Let's see what we got. So for my week two measurements, I got 15.25 inches on my right calf and on my left 15.13, which was really nutty growth in two weeks. I mean, that's about a quarter of an inch on my right calf and the left calf within two weeks. Now, whether that was all muscle or the calf was just still in frame from doing from pounding it over and over again with jumps all week, I don't know, honestly, but the results kept coming throughout the 30 days I was doing it. Now, to be completely honest, though, I missed more days than I should have during this 30 day period. The original intent was to do all 30 days, but I had a wedding one day with some other obligations, a bachelor party. I did not prioritize doing my 1000 jump ropes when I had a moment of free time on those busy days. But despite that, everything still went according to plan for my 1000 jump ropes. As I was doing more, I noticed my cardio was definitely getting better. I felt my calves activating on each jump, but the only really annoying thing in this challenge was counting counting a thousand times while doing something that is tiring and not that enjoyable honestly it was just annoying i cannot count to a thousand and listen to music at the same time so if you guys can do that kudos to you but i cannot so next time i do it i'm going to use like an interval timer because that'd be a better idea and then i can listen to music and i didn't want to change the challenge halfway through so i just stuck with a thousand jumps instead of doing an interval timer but before we get to the final calf measurements and jump rope time if you guys are enjoying the video please click the like button down below now while the growth rate definitely slowed down i still got some awesome results from the challenge my ending measurement was 15.31 inches for my right calf my left was 15.21 inches the damn left calf never seems to catch up but it's still growing. So in a month of jump ropes, I added about a third of an inch to my calves while getting my cardio in, which is really awesome. Not only that, my jump rope time and cardio improved dramatically as well. Eight oh five. I think it's like a minute and a half I shaved off. It's pretty good. It's the first time it didn't take a break that time so cardio is definitely improving good work time for a shower not gonna lie i think my calves are looking a lot better compared to earlier in the month when i did the walking challenge so while i continue with jump ropes even though it technically ended for my 30 days yeah i'm gonna keep doing it it's a good way to get cardio in and it's very quick and it's still kind of working on my calves I'm just not going to count to a thousand every time. I'm going to set an interval timer so now I can jam out to music while I punish myself doing some jump ropes. But the calf journey does not end here. I do have another experiment 
up my sleeve to try and grow these babies more. So when winter is over and they are ready for summer to be shown again, they will look like boulders. If you do want to grow your calves by walking, check out the first video in this series and peace. It's really freaking hot over here, guys. I don't know if you can see me sweating on camera. Holy crap. November 6th and it's hot. This is not right.